question. But what are the causes of unexplained waking? Number one, insulin resistance. As a child, we could get away with a lot more than we can now. And that's because as we get older, we become more insulin resistant. And insulin resistance is the leading cause of metabolic disease, heart issues, diabetes, inflammation, Alzheimer's, dementia, and, and all metabolic diseases of the modern age. Insulin is the fat storing hormone. So when the body becomes resistant to this signaling of insulin, then the body's constantly in fat storing mode. Your appetite is increased while you're stuck in that fat storing mode. And furthermore, you're retaining excess fluid from inflammation, making you feel even more bloated and fat and heavy. So you've got the water retention, you've got your body prone to storm fat, even from the little calories it's taking in, and your body's screaming at you that you're hungry because it's not satisfied by the food that you're eating. Those are all symptoms of that insulin resistance. Next is adrenal fatigue. Adrenal fatigue is caused by chronic stress and a continued release of cortisol, which is the stress hormone. If cortisol is constantly being released, blood sugar increases, causing more fat to be stored on the body and shutting off the fat burning mechanisms. It also leads to long-term inflation, adrenal burnout, metabolic disease, heart disease, lowered metabolism, suboptimal thyroid function, hormonal imbalances, and much more. And this is where the dirty cupcake comes in. If you are constantly releasing that, that cortisol, your blood sugar and insulin are increased, you're not even eating um, food, and you're storing fat. And it also is a fat storer. So epinephrine is um, a, it's a fat soluble hormone. So when that is raised from the stress, it's telling your body to store even more fat. So if you are chronically stressed, we need to work on that. Easier said than done, but you do need to put it at the forefront of um, one of your goals. Next cause of unexplained weight gain is the leaky gut. Leaky gut is where in the integrity of the intestinal walls are compromised and holes are formed in those walls. As a result, those foreign particles leak into the bloodstream, creating a systemic inflammatory response. And your body goes, oh my gosh, I don't recognize this, even if it's a piece of kale or, or protein, but it's gotten into the bloodstream stream, and that leads to more chronic and autoimmune diseases. A disruption in the balance of the bacteria of the gut where the beneficial microbes become outnumbered by potentially harm, harmful bacteria is called dysbiosis. And dysbiosis leads to bloat, weight gain, malnutrition, and autoimmune disease. And the main causes of this are stress, antibiotics, pathogens, plant poisons, mycotoxins, toxins from the environment, and food. And I recommend for everybody to read my article on gut pathogens because it goes into the healthy foods that could be causing leaky gut, like oxalates in foods like spinach, almonds, um, Swiss chard, berries, chocolate, and you've got chicken with the amyloid proteins and the conventional beef. Those are ketogenic, high protein foods, but they don't break down in the body and they actually trigger gut pathogens like E. coli and salmonella to rear their ugly heads and cause dysbiosis and bloat and weight gain. And you're sitting here going, Sarah, I'm eating high protein and a ketogenic diet. What's going on? I can't lose the weight. It's because some of these healthy foods have been so toxic loaded from our environment and the way they've been raised that our bodies can't break it down. Then the microbial population of the gut becomes compromised. Unwanted pathogens start to break down the mucosal barrier in the gut lining. And if the mucosal barrier is damaged, toxins can migrate towards the intestinal cells causing damage and creating inflammation. And as the tight junctions loosen and break apart in the, um, in the gut, 
gaps in the intestinal lining allow those toxins to enter circulation. And this process of toxins from the intestines into the circulation is leaky gut. Next cause of weight gain, and this is huge for the last two years with everything that's gone on with COVID, with the jab, with the jab shedding, toxin, toxicity and radiation can cause weight gain. Our bodies are overloaded with those heavy metals, radiation and dietary toxins. And to comp compound the issue, eating processed foods and GMO laden foods clog the detoxification pathways, making it even more difficult for a body to excrete new level of toxic load. Signs of toxicity include that unexplained weight gain. And why this is the fact is it's a survival mechanism. Our bodies are smart. The body produces extra fat cells to encapsulate those toxins and store them in the tissues so that your body can save itself and not have the toxins in the bloodstream. So then those, those toxins get stored and the more toxins you take in, the more the body wants to save them in fat cells and increase the fat cells. So it will start producing more fat cells. Next is unexplained depression, anxiety, or change in mood. Some of the toxins, including the spike proteins, can cause a sudden decrease in the neurotransmitters like GABA, dopamine, serotonin, and insulin. Next, you might feel an unexplained lack of motivation, and this is due to the degradation of your neurotransmitters. Now, if you have lack of motivation, are you going to go to the gym or are you not going to go to the gym? you might not go to the gym, which is then going to cause that bloat and the weight gain that we're trying to fight. You also can see skin breakouts from toxicity and pain in your joints and your bones, just that because they lead to systemic inflammation. And you also might be experiencing insomnia. The EMFs and the radiation rattle the DNA and disrupt its normal frequency. And as a result, many are unable to sleep. And with a lack of sleep, the body experiences an increase in ghrelin, which is the hunger hormone, and an increase in insulin, the fat storing hormone. And this is without eating an, an absolute additional morsel of food. So just not getting enough sleep is going to cause weight gain and bloat and an increase in appetite. Next, what causes that weight gain and bloat? having a backed up liver. And if you know me, I love my liver. Um, with all of the excess GMOs, toxins, inflammatory fats, radiation, and heavy metals, most Americans have backed up livers inhibiting that fat burning and the thyroid conversion. Thyroid hormones convert from the inactive T4 to the active T3 in the liver. And when the liver isn't functioning optimally, then this conversion doesn't take place. And this leads to fatty liver disease, excess visceral fat, a slow metabolism, thyroid, and low energy. So your liver is a truly important part of getting rid of that bloat and the weight gain. Next and lastly is hormonal changes with age. Like I mentioned, so many women and men come to me and say, Sarah, I eat the same as I've always eaten. Nothing changes. And I can't lose this weight like I was able to do so in my 30s. Well, with age, most people suffer from insulin resistance, which also leads to lower testosterone and higher estrogen levels. But also perimenopause and menopause um, leads to that just very tricky balance of hormones. And it may essentially your ovaries are dying and your adrenals take over that production of the sex hormones. So if you're overstressed, your adrenals are overworked, you're not going to be producing the right hormones. And that's going to also lead to excess weight gain and bloat. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to break down my protocol in three different levels because I know a lot of people have a tolerance for just a few supplements, a few cute clues to what to do. And then a lot of people say, I'm all in, give me everything, I wanna do everything. So the level one 
includes the supplements in the Ascent Diet Cleanse and the Leaky Gut Bundle. And level two, we will add in some additional tools like the stem, stem cell activation patches, intermittent fasting, low carb wild animal protein diet. And level three will include the accelerated ancient salt, the collagen, the My Vital C, and also getting really deep into what vegetables to, to stay away from, and maybe even um, just sticking to a carnivore diet. So level one, this is what I tell everybody to do, whether you're wanting to lose weight or you're in stage four cancer. This protocol is beneficial for everybody. And it is the Ascent Diet Cleanse with the Leaky Gut Bundle. And so many um, people have the bloat, the weight gain, the lethargy, the hormonal imbalances that are causing a domino effect of these negative results which will make late losing weight really impossible. The Ascent Diet Cleanse kicks your body into fat burning mode, increases metabolism, increases physical and mental energy, balances your hormones, boosts the immune system, eliminates the constipation, and cleans the liver. And if you notice, I essentially touched on all of the causes of weight gain. It's all encompassed in the Ascent Diet Cleanse. Then when you add in the leaky gut bundle supplements to the Ascent Diet Cleanse, the gut is repaired and reconditioned to work to optimally eliminate the bloat, tighten up the stomach. Literally, I have people say, oh my gosh, I have a six pack. I haven't seen that since I was a teenager. It eliminates that bloat, improves nutritional absorption, and enhances the effect of the Ascent Diet Cleanse. In the cleanse, you've got the accelerated keto. So if you're listening to me and you say, well, I'm not doing a diet or a cleanse, but what, what one or two things can I do to help with my weight loss and my gut? Listen to the supplements specifically, and they might trigger, oh, that, that will work for me. But they are meant to work synergistically as well. The accelerated keto. This flips you into fat burning mode within 30 minutes. I have a friend that's trying to get into ketosis without the accelerated keto, and she's so frustrated because her little urine strip is not turning purple, showing ketones, and it's very hard. You feel hangry for the first week to two weeks where your body's transitioning from burning glucose to burning ketones. It's like telling a car to burn gas and, and flipping over to be, you know, being on an electrical car, it's going to take that, that time, that transition time. Well, the accelerated keto flips you into that um, mode within 30 minutes and it taps into your own fat stores for energy right away. When your body's running on the ketones from the accelerated keto, combine it with intermittent fasting. So you're squeezing your eating window between eight, six and eight hours or so, and focusing on a low carb diet instead of utilizing glucose, ATP production, which is true cellular energy at the cellular level, increases significantly leading to enhanced physical energy. So ATP, those are the little soul soldiers in your cells. Think about the fact that not only are you increasing your army of soldiers, but you're increasing the strength of each soldier. That's what's happening with the accelerated keto. The additional ingredients in the keto breaks down saturated fats into unsaturated fats, and this helps burn the dangerous visceral fat around the belly and the liver fat. The liver fat is the dangerous fat, and the visceral fat is also the dangerous fat. Those are the fats that lead to the metabolic diseases. Non-alcoholic fatty liver is the fastest growing disease in America for a reason, and that's from the processed foods and carbs, and it's really um, burdening our livers. The accelerated keto on its own is starting to defat the liver and unclog it, and they, that is making it easier for the liver to function, including breaking down fat molecules into the usable energy and burning the belly fat. The liver is also where the thyroid hormone converts from T4 to T3. And as the liver function becomes better, the thyroid's going to work better. 
increasing your metabolism, mitochondrial function, and energy much better. Um, it's known that the, if the thyroid isn't functioning, digestion suffers and unexplained weight gain occurs. And also, did you know if your metabolism is slow, that's going to cause constipation as well? If you're constipated, the toxins are getting recycled in your body. And then you're just going to, it's going to be like a, a, a vicious cycle of your more toxins, more toxins, and more body fat, more body fat. It's just, so we need to cleanse that liver, make sure we're not constipated, increase the thyroid health as well. Additionally, you've got the organic mucle in the accelerated keto, and this is known to break down fats even further and increase that spark to burn the fats to break it down. So one other ingredient in there is the tricotu, and that's a, an Ayurvedic um, herb that heats up the digestive fire. So it increases your digestion of all the food you are eating. Next in the Ascent Diet Cleanse is the Acceleridine, and that increases ATP by 18 times, 18 times. So uh, that's not 18%, 18 times is the amount that you are increasing ATP from that Acceleridine. The iodine, when I mentioned T4 and T3 for thyroid hormones, that is four and three molecules of iodine. So if you don't have enough iodine in your body, you have no thyroid hormones. This is going to increase metabolism, caloric burn, brain function, physical performance, wound healing, fat burning, and that healthy apoptosis, which is the destruction of diseased and cancer cells. That is going to take a burden off the body when you get rid of those diseased cells. And that's just going to make the whole body um, increase its functionality as well. You're also going to increase energy and fat oxidation. The Acceleridine also helps improve metabolism and physical energy by supplying the necessary iodine to not just the thyroid hormones, but to every tissue in the body. It actually decreases your risk of cancer by 50%. That's 50%. As the thyroid's functioning optimally and the ATP is maximized, exercise will lead to further health gains than just exercise alone. Next, you've got the accelerated cellular detox powder. This is the only organic formula of six ingredients that coat the stomach, the intestinal lining, reduce inflammation in the gut, help with the bloat and regularity, alleviate issues like Crohn's disease and colitis, two things that I suffered from. And it also soaks up the toxins from throughout the day and all the toxins that have been built up over the last 40 to 80 years of your life. So those are the toxins that have led to leaky gut. So the inflammation is decreased and absorption of the nutrients is improved. Um, next, you've got the accelerated silver that's in the Ascent Diet Cleanse, and this is enhancing your immune system's ability to devitalize the foreign pathogens, including those that contribute to leaky gut. And by keeping the immune system strong, the body's engaged in anti-inflammatory processes leading to optimal health. And it's also able to then say, okay, I'm not fighting a cold or flu or COVID over here. I'm going to work on cleaning out my gut and reducing inflammation and fighting the gut pathogens that cause leaky gut and all of these issues. So that's another way the accelerated silver is so important. That is the supplement that started my business because of my son's bout with leukemia 10 years ago. Not one of my kids, since we've been using accelerated silver, has been on an antibiotic. Not one of my family members had a symptom of the virus that has been surrounding the globe for the last two years. And all of us had had it. And we tested because of other reasons. We didn't test because we thought we had it. So I contribute that to the accelerated silver. What else we do in the Ascent Diet Cleanse is the liver flush kit. And as I mentioned before, with a backed up liver, you everything stops. It is your detox organ. You need it clean for all reasons. And the liver flush kit in the Ascent Diet Cleanse 
soften the liver stones for two weeks with a couple extra pills that you take during the day. And then you flush out those stones. And I've had people flush them out and then say, oh my gosh, I feel so good. I'm going to do one next week because it really drives up your energy. It resets your whole body. Heather Hineker and I have talked about the fact that with this liver flush and the Ascent Diet Cleanse, the, the phase angle of the cells or the integrity of the cell walls makes a huge shift. And she's able to measure that with her body scan machine. And it's really unheard of um, to see that shift with just supplements. And I attribute it to the liver flush combined with all of the other supplements in the Ascent Diet Cleanse, working synergistically together, increasing that ATP production, reducing inflammation and cleansing the body. And in the, in the cleanse, you also have the lax of comfort that makes sure that you're not constipated. You are going to the bathroom every single day. I have a friend that was at her wits end going to the doctor on every other supplement for her constipation. She was going to the bathroom less than once a week. She said, Sarah, you have to have something. I said, yeah, I do. It works like clockwork. She goes, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? And within two days, she goes, you are a godsend. I've never been pooped, pooping like I am now in my entire life. And she just felt like a new human being. And the reason is, is if you're constipated, those toxins are just recycling in the body. There's nowhere to go. So it's really important to be going to the bathroom. So when you add in with the Ascent Diet Cleanse, three supplements in the Leaky Gut Bundle, the Mega Spore, the Mega Pre and the Mega uh, Mucosa, so easy to take that I actually enjoy taking them and I'll tell you why in a second, but they are working synergistically to tighten the tight junctions and feed the good microbiome. So the Mega Spore is the main unit and this probiotic blend aims to recondition the gut instead of receding the gut with probiotic strains like most probiotics. So most probiotics have billions of like five or 10 strains. Well, the gut doesn't work like that. It's got millions of strains. So just introducing five of them is actually maybe putting it out of balance with the too many of the good thing and not enough of some of the others. But this one the way it works, it helps control the bad bacteria that lead to bloat and dysbiosis, and it helps grow the good bacteria, all of them that are in there already. And it has been shown to help with E. coli, salmonella, H. pylori, and more. I am so prone to having E. coli and salmonella. If I have one wrong piece of chicken or one wrong vegetable or something, E. coli will show up on my Genius app scan that tells me what's going on in my body. And, and I'm so very in tune with that. I get bloated right away. The Megaspore has made it very consistent where I have no gut issues. Then you add in the Mega Pre, this feeds the good beneficial microbial changes that are come in by the Megaspore. So it, it promotes it to grow even faster in a stronger, more diverse microbiome. Lastly, the mega mucosa. This is the, uh, the mucosal system is that important part of the human immune system. And it's the, in the intestines and contains 150 times more surface area than the skin. And it's an essential element to the immune system. Your immune system is in the gut. It is the first complete mucosal support supplement. And essentially it, it helps tighten those junctions of leaky gut and really makes that mucosal lining strong. The great thing about the Mega Pre and the Mega Mucosal, they come in powder form. They taste really good. So you can mix them together and serve just them together and you can have them all day long, once, twice a day, however you want to do it. It's super easy with or without food. Those supplements are very easy to implement into your regimen. Okay, so level two includes the stem cell activation patches. Now, these are a game changer for me. I won't go without them, but I understand if you're overloaded and you don't want to add them in. 
but they're just little stickers that you stick on your body. They're like band-aids. You can put them on your baby. You can put them on your elderly mom or dad that don't want to change their diet. They are so helpful and they change your body and your um, your immune system and reset your system. And when you add them in to the Ascent Diet Cleanse and the Leaky Gut Bundle, your results skyrocket. So number one is the X49 patch. I am loving this patch. And with time, as the months go on, I'm loving it more and more and more. It increases energy and recovery after exercise. So during my exercise, I'm doing more. It improves my cardiovascular function and focus. I'm being more focused while I'm doing these podcasts and Zooms and my workday or being a better mom or during my workout. It's increasing my muscle tone and strength. It's increasing that lean body mass and bone density. I have osteoporosis in my family. This is really important to me. It reduces body fat. So it actually targets body fat. Most diets, when you lose weight, you lose fat and you lose muscle, may even lose some bone density. With the X49 in the Ascent Diet Cleanse, you are gaining muscle, you're losing fat, and you're gaining muscle or bone mass. That um, is really important. It also helps with um, your hair. So who does not want thicker hair, man or woman? It helps with um, combating that DHT and some other mechanisms. If you missed my newsletter and my article on hair loss and how to prevent it and reverse it, it is posted on the website today at acceleratedhealthproducts.com. And it was also in my newsletter um, that's going out tomorrow morning. So make sure you subscribe to the newsletter. But the X49 is the number one key for hair loss. Number two is the Energy Enhancer Patch. These increase that ATP production in the mitochondria. Increase, increase heart rate variability, improve that bioelectrical measurement or the phase angle that we talked about um, in the cells, the integrity of the cell walls, reduces inflammation and increases endurance. So you're going to want to work out more. You're going to get more caloric burn out of your workout and out of just even your daily activities. You'll burn on extra, on average, about 300 calories extra a day. And it works to to increase fat oxidation. That is how the energy enhancer patch works. Um, it works synergistically with the accelerated keto and the accelerodyne in the fat burning and tapping into your endless supply of fuel of fat on your body. And all of these factors work synergistically with exercise to increase the benefits of what you're doing in exercise right now, but then also motivates you to work out more because you've got better and sustained energy. It also improves digestion and circulation, which are essential for that nutrient absorption that lead to improved energy. With that also is the X39 stem cell activation patch, and this increases your own stem cell production and resets over 4,000 genes to a younger state. And as a result, you're gonna get better collagen in all the tissues, and those stem cells are going to encourage apoptosis of cancer cells, um, reduce inflammation, help the symmetry of the organs, put everything back in balance, increase performance during your exercise, and your body's going to act as if it's its 20-year-old self. So that means your metabolism and the way everything works in the body. Remember how you, you're complaining, oh, I can't eat what I used to be able to eat when I was 20 years old. Well, now you're going to be able to because you're going to be acting as if you're, you're your 20-year-old self. Next is the carnosine patch. The carnosine patch is naturally occurring oxidant in the body, and it just declines with age, and it shows it plays a really important role in your neuroprotection and anti-aging. Helps with endurance, strength, and balance as well. So that's an extra one that you could add in as well. Okay, to add into that we need to increase our protein intake and not just any protein. We need to increase wild animal protein. So get rid of the chicken. It's full of amyloid proteins that get deposited in your brain and lead to Alzheimer's and dementia. Amyloid plaque, okay? Comes from amyloid proteins in, in the chicken and the conventional beef. 
We want to focus on the deer, elk, bison. Bison's super easy. I just had a bison burger for lunch. Wild fish, um, lamb, um, wild salmon. You can get smoked salmon from Trader Joe's, wild smoked salmon. Easy snack, carnivore crisps. An easy snack from um, car carnivorecrisp.com. It's one of my favorite snacks that's on the go. But those things are going to give you the essential amino acids and the high omega-3 fatty acids, collagen, essential vitamins like vitamin D, E, Bs that are needed for muscle growth. And they have the essential amino acids that trigger that CCK in the gut to keep appetite under control. And they cause no bloat, cause no leaky gut, really are super sustainable. Your body loves them. When you eat just the protein, try it with no vegetables. Your body like soaks it up and says, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Sometimes the vegetables are what trip up the bloat and the gas and you're, it's because you're eating the wrong, um, the wrong vegetables. Next, you want to exercise in a fasted state. What will this do? It's going to increase your fat loss. When you exercise in that fasted state, you are tapping into the benefit of low insulin and low leptin levels. And when insulin and leptin are low, fat burning increases. And when insulin and leptin are high, fat storage increases. So you've taken your acceleridine, you've taken your accelerated keto in the morning and your silver, you go work out, you're in major fat burning mode, and, and then you're also building more muscle because you got your energy enhancer patches on. I like to put the energy enhancer here. And then another place I put them are in the bottom of my feet. Um, one other option, if you really have dysbiosis of, or constipation, is to put them two inches to the side of your belly button. Those are different places. But that increase in ATP, you are in major, major fat burning mode while building more muscle mass. When you're fasting and you're, you're working out, you then eat your protein afterwards and your body, your muscles are primed to soak up the protein and the amino acids to increase protein synthesis by twice the amount. Okay, what's more? What else could you add in if you're sitting there saying, Sarah, I want more. I need to do everything I can to increase my, my weight loss and get rid of this bloat. Number one, liquid biocell collagen. It is important to include a high quality, quality collagen supplement. And I have been using liquid biocell collagen, um, gosh, for 15 years. I've tried out so many other collagens and they don't measure up. I would be carrying a different one if it was a better one than this one. But the reason I like this one is that it has a perfect um, complex of the, the chondroitin and the HA and the collagen all in one matrix. And our body recognizes it as our own. So it, it, it is the same as our own. So then you've got the My Vital C, and this is not vitamin C, this is a carbon 60. It's a potent antioxidant that's been shown to not only extend lifespan by over 90%. So you're going to live twice as long, but it also helps with weight management, improves your sleep. And we know sleep is, is important for that adrenal fatigue, for the ghrelin and the hunger hormones, for the stress hormones for flushing the body of all the waste and the inflammation. So sleep is super important and my vital sleep C will help you get there. And it also improves wrinkles, strengthens your bones, improves athletic performance, improves libido, and so much more. And by, by the way, X49 improves libido as well and testosterone and her, her, uh, human growth hormone. Next is the accelerated ancient salt. And this, a lack of sodium and potassium may actually lead to water retention. I have a friend who says, I'm so sensitive to sodium. I can't eat at restaurants because I get so much water retention from it. I said, try my accelerated ancient salt. She wouldn't try it for months. I said, please try it because it's full of 62 minerals, all of the minerals, not just sodium. 
She tried it. She goes, that is the only salt I can use. And I love it, love it, love it. A lack of proper salt intake will cause additional issues with the sodium potassium pump in the cells. And the pump's job is to put the nutrients into the cells and take the toxins out. And most salts are stripped of all the minerals except for the sodium and they're full of microplastics. So essentially you are making yourself bloated from all the sodium and you're putting plastics in your body. So then your body has to encapsulate those toxins. And where does they, that go? Oh yeah, we get more fat stores because we need to put those plastics somewhere else and get them out of the blood system. I hope this is all making sense and, and working and you're seeing how everything is um, just working synergistically together. These, those other salts are gonna lead to that dehydration, toxicity, and bloat. So you just put a little bit of the salt and I carry it in this little tin. You get one of these in the accelerated um, Ascent Diet Cleanse. But I take one of these in my pocket or in my purse everywhere I go. If I'm feeling dehydrated, if I'm feeling nauseous, or if I'm feeling really hungry and I want to continue to intermittent fast, I put a little bit of this in on my tongue or in a glass of water. And it's amazing how it goes away. It also will stabilize your blood sugar. So if you have a cheat day or a cheat meal and your blood sugar is going like this, and you are high from eating too much sugar, put some salt on your tongue and it will help stabilize your blood sugar and bring your blood glucose down. And it also helps with um, the lows. So if you're too low, it's going to help balance out your blood sugar. So we are almost out of time. Thank you again. I'm sorry for the um, sound issues in the beginning of this recording. In the chat, I put at the top, the um, my free group education on telegram and it will also be in the description when this is uploaded to uh, to youtube and all of the platforms if you have any friends or family members that need just education on health health tips or need this information please share it out and share it with them i'm trying to help as many people as i can and all of this information is free, so there is no downside in join. Happy Monday. Have a great afternoon, and let me know how I can help you further.